Hey, I'm 26. I'm from San Francisco, California. I work in finance and I love running. Yeah. Um, so you just finished your LA Marathon a couple days ago. Yes, I did. How'd you feel about it? I felt so much better than last year. Tell me more. So last year it was all about finishing to get 26 miles done. And I thought that was physically impossible. I never thought that I would be able to, you know, complete. I thought that was not human um, last year. Last year I finished it, um, and I was very happy. This year I was working on my pace to stay in the 7.30 to 8 zone, and I stayed between 7.30 to 8.30, so really happy with it this year. How was uh, last year? What was your time last year? My last year was 4.40. 4.40? 40. 40. I don't know exactly, 4.41, 4.41, okay. somewhere, somewhere around there. Um, but this year I got 3.33. 3.33. So, <laughs> yeah, one hour and seven minutes faster. Right. So, I was not expecting that. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel about it? Really good. Really good. Um, obviously, I'm kind of like bummed that I wanted to be more faster, but like when you look at my history, like what I accomplished, I, did, I have done so much already and I'm, on, I'm already on track to get the goals that I was, you know, I was set to do. Okay. Now, if you can go back in time a little and remember, what were the problems that you struggled before working with Fight to Box Coaching? Did you have any problems during that time? Uh, I had problems with um, just the schedule. Like, I had problems with um, knowing like little things like terminology. I didn't know a lot of um, the terminology that goes into racing, cadence. I didn't know what cadence meant. I didn't really know what RPM was. I didn't know. I don't even know what Watts were when I was going on the bike. There's just so much things, terminology for a new new person in the sport that they can learn through the coaching. And you know, that's why I ask you so many questions and bother you so much. <laughs> I've learned a lot in nutrition of what to take, what vitamins to take, like magnesium, the timing of things to, to take, not just like the food to eat, but the timing of when to eat your food and and just what to add and what you know, I, I was more I was more informed on what to eat, what to introduce to my diet and what can really help me be better in the next day or the next week of my race. What are the things that help you in coaching? I think what helped me a lot was the all the information for sure. From the website, from speaking with you, from like video calls, and from hearing everyone's stories on on their performance in their races prior to my race, just being able to be in that community and, and learn from other people's mistakes, and be in a community community where you could ask a lot of questions to one another, and and you know ask you a lot of questions as well. So I think that's what really helped. Uh, since uh, how long were you in coaching? Since February first, I believe, and okay. um, yeah, four, week, four, four weeks in February, and then two weeks of March, one week of doing nothing, just tapering. <laughs> so so about easy. six or seven weeks. Yeah, six or seven weeks of okay. intense training, and I was I was all in for six or seven weeks okay. from my diet, from my running, from getting myself to the gym every day. I was all in.